So in this video, I want to discuss a really small property of matrices, or actually two properties, but they are very similar. And first of all, I want to check if a matrix is symmetric. And for that, we need to check if A equals A transpose. And for the anti-symmetric anti anti one, we want to check if A transpose is equal to minus a and for that let's write two small functions so first of all we want to have a symmetric and we want to return if m is equal to m transpose that's all we need to do and for the anti-symmetric one, we want to do something very similar to that. And here we want to check if m transpose is equal to minus 1 times m. That of course. Now we can check if a matrix is symmetric or anti-symmetric. And for that, let's define a symmetric one and one that is not. Or if B is symmetric, which also return false for both. And then we need to check if A is anti-symmetric. And let's check that. So let's take a look at a symmetric one. Sim would be something like this because it's symmetric to this axis right here, as you can see. So let's test that one. So let's compile it and see if it's true. And as we can see, the matrix is symmetric now. Now all we have to do is to check for the anti-symmetric one. So as we've seen, we always need to have zero. Um, so as we've seen, we always need zeros on the diagonal for the matrix to be anti-symmetric. And the other values below, let's take a look, we need to have a zero on the diagonal and the other ones be mirrored and their sinus should be flipped. In our example, we have a four here and a minus four here, so they need to get mirrored and the sign is just flipped for them to be anti-symmetric and for them to be symmetric, as we can see right here. The diagonal doesn't really matter because it ends up in the same position again when we transpose it right here. But what's important is that we have the same value here. Let's mark it now in a different color. We have the same value here and here for a two by two matrix. Let's, let's take a small look for a three by three matrix. One, two, three. So what we would have to do now is to mirror each value um, at the diagonal line so it becomes um, symmetric. So here we would have to have a five. This value would get mirrored to right here and this value would get mirrored here and we would have another symmetric one. Yeah.